brief hands-on with iOS 11.4 Beta 2. So the second iOS 11.4 developer beta is now available, and this is the first beta that has come out after the product red iPhone has launched. Uh, so with it comes one little special feature that we'll talk about here in just a second, but we're gonna keep this real brief because there really isn't just a lot to talk about. I'm not gonna pad this video to make it longer than it needs to be. Obviously, some of the things that are still there, AirPlay 2 is still available, which is nice. That hasn't been taken back out of this latest beta. So AirPlay 2 is still there. You will need to update your Apple TVs with the latest tvOS in order to use that, however, and AirPlay 2 obviously does not yet work with the HomePod, so you can't have multi-room audio with the HomePod just yet. And speaking of the HomePod, the stereo pairing settings found in the Home app that were in the previous beta have been removed. You can see it's no longer there, but if you look at the previous beta, this is beta one, you can see stereo pairing is there. However, it obviously doesn't work because it requires that HomePod software update, which is not yet available. So it doesn't really matter that the settings have been removed if the software update isn't there to begin with. All right, so heading back over to our settings app, you'll notice that yes, messages in the cloud is still available in this beta, the second beta, which is a good thing, obviously. But the real big news for this beta is the addition of a brand new wallpaper for iPhone 8 users. And this wallpaper serves to commemorate the new product red iPhone 8, which was just released last week. And we did a full hands-on with the product red iPhone 8. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you check that out as well. But this is what the wallpaper looks on the home screen. And let's go ahead and lock the device. You can see it on the lock screen as well. What do you think about that wallpaper? I'm interested to hear your thoughts on it. But again, this isn't a very big update. It's it's very minimal as far as user facing features are concerned. You have the new wallpaper. Uh, that's really the main thing. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.